Hey everybody, welcome back to the Silent Hill Hope Cubby playthrough. We have just entered the prison in good old, old-fashioned Silent Hill. We're supposed to meet Deputy Wheeler, supposed to, and L, who was captured by the cult members right outside of the bow as we were headed over here. So, and we fought some cult members. Pretty intense. They're running around in their suits. Alex. Very inspired by the movie, the as I was going okay. to say. I'm up in cell block B. Come and get me already. Uh, by the way, when I was editing the last episode, I thought to myself, this has got to be a setup. Like, he's... Le I mean, why would it be, I guess? Because the cult members, you know, could have just let them come to Silent Hill and then... But, I don't know. It's just because they were rescued, and then the whole time, Deputy Wilder's been on the other end, like, yeah, come on this way. Oh, well... Uh, well, since you can't get through, they come here. Uh, just a guess. Just a guess. Um, but it was electrocuted, so the, the door out here. So it did seem sort of protected, as if the cult members did not want Alex here. So maybe that theory is wrong. But just a theory I had. I was like, there, there's just, it's, the breadcrumbs are so breadcrumbs, it's making me wonder if they're breadcrumbs. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Jesus. I'm already loving the look of this, though. The contrast, this random plant. <laughs> but it's already looking like really proper scary in here, which I really like. You hear a TV. Daddy? What a failed Easter egg opportunity, right? Didn't seem like there was anything else to do in here. Oh boy, this is this is spooky. Actually, really spooky. <coughs> really excited to keep going though. Really excited to get to the bottom of what's happening. How this is happening in Silent Hill. What are the monsters? What do they represent? What's the story with the kids? Why is there a Punisher mm -hmm. running around? Slang and judgment, discipline on kids, or, or whatever. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> the door shut behind me. Are you kidding? No turning back. Oh, break. Ooh, I've always loved that effect. I thought that was really cool. And holy crap! Holy crap, Ola! I'll hold my reserve. My, I'll reserve judgments to the end. But the combat getting here was insane. Y'all saw it last episode. I think I killed like 40 lurkers. <laughs> That's just nuts. Okay, okay. Let's get back into this. It's a note left behind by a prisoner. When you're notified you have a visitor, an officer searches you and then escorts you to the visitor area. You then get placed in a cage, get uncuffed, and wait for your visitor. For the right amount, officers will let visitors bring things in. It's against the rules, of course, but even high-ranking officers do it. I mean, who's going to stop them? After the visit is over, they strip you, search you, and let you get dressed. Then you get cuffed and escorted back to your cage. Seeing friends and family is the only thing that gives us hope. Dad, I hope you visit soon. Until next time. Dave. Interesting. I'll remember that name in case it's important, but I think what's important to look at here is the security and that there's some corruption going on. That's what it sounds like to me, anyway. I saw something in here. I can't care anymore! Alex, look at your jacket. Look at your jacket. You've got... You've got pockets out the yin. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. I, I held back everything I was saying. Good job. A macaroni! Whoa, look at this! That's what I like to see. Complex map system, endless doors. I don't care if they're locked, jammed, or broken. Someone left a note. I'm tired of the ridiculous time constraints you people give me. You ask me to fix the cameras. Then, 30 minutes later, you call and ask why I haven't patched the hole in the wall yet. I'm tired of the mixed signals. Someone just tell me what you really want. To whoever is reading this, do not touch my tools. I'm coming back to fix the GD cameras after I brick up the GD hole 
in the GD showers. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Love the essence of that note. We've all been there, I'm sure. Okay, that's where I came from. Sorry. I need to go this way. Someone's angry about all the repairs they're having to do. Oh. Calm down, boxes. Everything looks so distinct. I keep inspecting it all because it seems like I might interact with a button. Old electrical box. Nothing I can do with it now. Okay. Alright, it's it's uh quite spooky with nothing in here. A block. Y'all hear that? That was so creepy. I love stuff like that. What the heck am I looking at? <laughs> I'm sorry, I... I think I missed whatever it was I was supposed to see right there. But but I can only conclude... Uh, or, or rather deduce that there's a uh, scary monster running around here. I'm gonna do a little practice. It's been, it's been a second. A little practice can't hurt. Monitors. Turn your flashlight off. Turn your flashlight off. I don't think I see anything. I would love to see. S oh. <sighs> yes, sneaky little. Okay, we already did that. It looks like the panel controls the gates for the entire prison. Let's see if I can get it working. I guess it's broken. <laughs> All right, well, switch is dead. Well, get it working, maybe? Did I search everything I could in there? Hold up. I mean, I, I flipped the switch. I looked at the monitors. That switch is broken. What's this? No keys inside the key rack. Panel's broken. All right, I guess that's it. Oh, it opened up this. Perfect, perfect. Oh, what's up, guys? Yeah, we're not doing this today. Wow, how did that not kill him? <laughs> did y'all hear that? Loud and distinct. Oh my god, hold on, I gotta turn this down. Not uh, contrary to my typical turn it up! <laughs> turn it down! Alright, old newspaper. For any readers looking to enjoy that good old Shepherd's Glen hospitality, you may want to reconsider your options. I recently stayed at the Shepherd's Inn, located conveniently just outside the downtown area. While our previous overnights at this location were memorable, the years since their sit Sequid sec sesquid <laughs> sesquicential celebration has not been kind to our neighboring Berg. Our accommodations themselves were in inhospitable, to put it mildly, and the locals seemed gruff and uninviting. Even the town hall, a once friendly way for tourists to learn about the area's culture, stood in exceeding disrepair. On day two, Jeez, critic. What's wrong with Shepherd's Lynn? <laughs> so the towns are kind of at war. I guess, I don't know. I mean, it's, well, his dad seemed to have a grudge towards Silent Hill, but I think it's due to something weird happening, obviously. Since their celebration, sesquicential celebration. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting, interesting. I can see that the, uh, the writer is a true fan of Silent Hill, and I stand for that, honestly.
If I had to pick between Shepherd's Glen and Silent Hill, guess what it would be? Please don't kill me. <laughs> cool. Oh my gosh, so many places to go. Okay, uh, Deputy Wheeler said he was in B. So we need to... Yeah, we'll probably go down there, but hold on. Oh wait, let's read this. Jail... Talking seriously? We'll let you live a little longer. Man, the real... Trust yourself. Trust yourself, everybody! Coat Rack shall return. Captain Coat Rack? What are the writing we have in here? The rest... The beef sausage. King of Chicago? Somewhere down there is your soul. Drop in straight bars? Hell here. Jacobs, are you making it snow? <laughs> Steve loves puzzles. Nothing is real. Hey, I love puzzles too. Alright, enough messing around. Let's get to the bottom of it. Okay, where are we? Okay, alright, cool. We went up to come down. How do I access different areas of the map? There we go, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, those two are closed off. Those were the stairs we came up. Heard scary monster noises. We came from here. I don't recall checking any of this. Which makes me wonder. Hmm. Alright. Food for thought later. I'm just gonna keep following the path here. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh my god. Rifle ammunition. Someone told me, and I can't go back now because I saved, that I missed something. Someone said something about a sink, and I, and I cannot think of a time I was by a sink, but obviously I was by a sink somewhere. And I, I was racking my brain like, where? Where was this said sink? I found a letter from a prisoner. Whoever gets this message, please help. We haven't seen a guard in days. We're hungry, losing hope. Please help us. We're dying in here. Ron. Hmm. The prisoners were like abandoned? So, yeah, I think maybe I'm getting rifle ammo because I missed the rifle. Which is super disappointing because I swear I thought I turned everything upside down. But I guess I didn't. And I can't go back. My, my, my latest save is like Hell Descent before we fought the Scarlet Boss. That's not a terrible backtrack. But, I mean, if I really gotta do it, I'll do it. Like, y'all let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you want me to go back, I will go back and I'll get whatever it is I overlooked. Tell me what y'all think and I will um, probably do it. <laughs> if y'all ask me to do anything, I will do it. <gasps> back the heck up, y'all. Who the heck was- Good job. Now get me out of here. You There's got it. Over there. Okay, okay. Okay, it's not a setup. Uh, okay, one sec. Let me search the room. Supply closet. Locked. Can't believe I missed something, though. I'll try this later, okay? Alright, alright. Switch time. Let's get our boy out of there. But yeah, we'll... We'll figure it yeah, out. Nice work back there. When this is over, I'm about a first round and then a second. <laughs> Can you walk? Walk, run, fly. Shit, I may be a little slow, but whatever the hell it takes to get out of here, let's do it. <laughs> Where's Al? Love him. He split us up when we got here. But I heard him say something about taking a woman to solitary. Uh oh, we gotta go. But we gotta get back to the guard station. Got it. Come on. Oh God. Here it comes. <gasps> he said the F word. Give me my... Dude, why does the combat make you do that every time in a fight? Alright. Okay, 
right. Let me try to open that gate. So I started blasting. Got it. <laughs> Alright, what else? Is that it? Deputy Wheeler? What you got in your, uh... Oh. I guess I can't go in there. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Ooh! Acrobatic! Broken! What do we got? None of the switches are active. Oh, hey! Ooh, another drawing! You are your brother's keeper, remember it always. Or else the bogeyman will chain you underneath the waves. Hmm. Okay. Man, what happened in here? Oh, now that's gross. What, what, what? Alex, hit that switch. You got it, bro. All right, uh, what else do we have here? Deputy Wheeler, my guy? Let's try to find a way out of here. Okay, we're back where we were. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, something tells me this man's about to die. Alex, it looks like I can control the gates for the entire prison from this panel. Yes! yes it works! Somehow it works now. Okay, we need to split up. Now here's what you do. Head across the catwalk to the locked bars on the far side. Now get out of here! Okay, catwalk. Bars, far side. Uh... <clears throat> catwalk. This is the catwalk, isn't it? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best, my dude! Hey! Oh. Okay, you got it. A letter from a prisoner. I'm going to kill you. 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 Ooh. Help drink! We got four now, and one. I don't know how, but I, I managed to rack that up. <laughs> After I started getting better with the combat. Oh yeah, and so someone else asked about the QTEs. Uh, this mod is for the PC version. It's supposed to get rid of all the QTEs for you. It should complete them for you automatically. Um, but I don't think it's it always works. That's all I wanted to say. A prisoner wrote this letter. Can I... I can't wait to get the hell out of here. The GD cooks are the ones who should be thrown into solitary. In order to eat, you've got to have your light on before the officer will put food on your tray. They make you kneel against the back wall when they're dishing it out. Otherwise, you get nothing. Then the officer closes the window and you can eat your food. But then as soon as you get started, they come back to pick up the trays. The meals are never fully cooked and sometimes the food is still cold in the middle. Also, they give you less than what a grown man would normally eat. I've seen the officers scrape most of it on the ground to make the tray lighter. Is he, is he saying he's scraping off his food? We get juice, but it's watered down. To be just like the food, tasteless. The first thing I'm going to do when I get out is eat a GD cheeseburger, Brian. Who is he talking to? Kenny. Kenny, Brian, Dave. Oh, Jesus. Doesn't look good in there. Okay, where are we at on the map here? Okay, I see, I see. That's where we were. Deputy Wheeler should be there. Cool. So, we just keep going. Did we search? Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, how are y'all doing? This is getting really fun, though. I gotta say, I like this part. Although, although I gotta say, I'm a little worried with all this... Interactability. Dang it! But all this interaction we're getting with Deputy Wheeler only makes all me right. worry. I found another route. Got it. This is awesome. Okay, you got it. What happened there? 
Looks like he was impaled with metal. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Stand by. I'll unlock it for you. Deputy Wheeler is the man. Let's reload. If I can. Oh, I think I'm loaded up already. Okay, I'm gonna open the gate for you. Ooh. You're breaking up. Must be interference. <gasps> Ooh, shh. Ooh. Haven't fought one of these in a while. Ooh. Oh, he managed to turn around before I got turned around. Oh, Ooh. I'm really trying here. It's a little clunky sometimes, all right? What can I say? I'm trying. God, I'd rather fight anything but these. I'm really struggling. There we go. That's a QT. It did it for me. Come on. Come on, you son of a... Die! <laughs> oh my god. God, I don't miss those at all. I'm all observing this hole, like, oh, I wonder what's in there. <laughs> Shower room. Oh, we're gonna see some sexy bodies in here. I'm sure of it. Hello? Oh god. Oh, come on, dude. I was trying to- Two of them? Alright, that's it. That's it. I'm turning on the NOS. Come on. Alex, do your little dodge to the side. There you go, there you go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. There we go, there we go. Next. Unfair, man. Unfair. It's inconsistent, the dodge. Come on, you can do it, Alex. Good lord, come on. It is so difficult to get to the side. The second you try to like go to the side, they turn away and face you. Good lord, I feel like that was way harder than it needed to be because I'm not sure why. Because <laughs> I can't get properly to their side and destroy them that way. Break? Breach. Oof, this game is definitely action oriented. And and well, we'll hold it hold my thoughts to the end, but oof, I mean it is like heavy action oriented. I don't know if it's my absolute favorite, but it certainly adds um some tension. Which I think is what they were going for, so in that sense, it's uh, successful. Alright, nothing we could do here. We go back upstairs. Oh, thank god, a save point. This map is huge, but I love it. See, okay. Yeah, my most recent save is Hell Descent. Eh, you can only have five slots. It's such a pain. So I could backtrack to get the item it is that I missed. If y'all want me to. I really don't mind. I really don't. But I feel like I've come so far, so I didn't want to backtrack in this episode. I really wanted to kind of get to, like, the bottom of some story. Wheeler, Gems. you there? Let me drink some coffee. The damn radio keeps going out. I'm glad you're back. Listen, this door is jammed. I need your help. Okay, I can see you. That's the entrance to the A block. Okay, go back. Great. Our man is gonna help us out. Wheeler is the best. 
And all of this interaction, I just, I, again, I'm nervous. Okay, go through that door, head down the hall, and go right. The door is blocked with rubble. I can't get through it. You're in A block now. Go across and through the doors. I'll let you know. All right, let's first let me take the stairs. Hello? Ooh. Hello. Oh cool, you can drop down from here. That's nice. Jump across. Ooh, we're gonna get some items, aren't we? Oh hey, puzzle. I suppose we'll have to come back here later. <gasps> oh, is that a radio? Radio. What's going on with that radio? I got a radio wire. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised we can go through here. I haven't even got where Deputy Wheeler wants me to. It looks like somebody used this mattress to escape. It's a long way down. Yeah. Gate isn't going to move ever. Okay. Well, at least we searched. Uh, let's use this radio wire now. It says that the junction box is missing three of its wires. Okay, we only have one. I use the radio wire. Two, two more. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let's go back down. Okay. Just go straight ahead, as he said. There's a note in here, though. Gate won't budge. Ooh. I love the item placements. Oh, check it out. We get rewarded. The headlight is broken. Looks like the wires are exposed. Got it. Thought I saw something else on the floor, but I guess that's it. Ooh. Dude, I love the faint distant sounds. Sounds that you could miss. Like Possibly your first time playing this if you're just playing okay, it through Wheeler, a TV and I not using the keypad, headphones. but it looks broken. I'm gonna search for a way to fix it. We need, we need one more wire. Okay, yeah, one more wire. We can find that. We're probably gonna find it easy. Hello. Is that where I came from? I think it is. Jams. Hmm. Locked. All right, then, uh, hmm. All right, so let, let me, uh, oh, supply closet. Dang it. Okay. And I don't think we can get in any of these. Okay, uh, keypad. Okay, the wire's upstairs, but we've definitely gotten the wire from here, so I don't think there's any other wire on this floor. Let's try to go back, because upstairs there was one that we got already. I'm missing one. Hmm. I don't think it would be back here. Because this is where Wheeler introduced me to this area. Yeah, we... We must have missed it somewhere. In... in this area. We got one from here. Alright, let's just... Let's just go upstairs. I'm not sure yet. Hmm.
It says we could drop down. Is that any significance? I don't think so. <clears throat> nope. I think that just helps the player find the area to duck under better because the prompt was right there. <clears throat> Alright, let's just put this here. Uh, hmm. Okay, uh, one wire is missing. Come on, everybody. Where is it? We got one from there. Nothing in here. Nothing in here that I that I know of. Oh hey, how do we get over there? Hey, that's a serum. How do we get over there? Deputy Wheeler, pop open that door. Can we climb through this? Hmm. Aha! Tools here. Looks like someone was making repairs, but ran out of time. There's a spare bit of wire inside the toolkit. Okay, perfect. Let me get some coffee. Oh, I can't watch these TVs? Dang it. Okay, we got the last wire. I would love to get access to that serum. But... Until then... Cool. Did that work? Hey, come on, we we did it. Oh, oh, t to the keypad, which is what's downstairs? I think this is not the way. Oh, it is. It is. Aha! Hey, I got the. Come on. Well, what did I miss? All right, I'm back. What now? Oh, I gotta do this little thingy all over again. It literally has no rhyme or reason. You just have to figure out the right placements. Uh, which one's missing? Oh, oh, the blue one, the blue one. This one right here. Or the teal one, it needs to be connected. There we go, there we go. Test. Okay, test. What? Come on, don't do this to me. <sighs> Halfway there. Okay, okay, okay. Feeling, feeling good, feeling good. Give me this. Yeah! <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm figuring this out. Oh yeah, power's on, baby. Does that mean this door is open over here? It's not. Deputy Wheeler, what can he do? Dang it. Okay, okay. Ooh, I can drop down here. Cool. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens once we put this in. But the power has been restored, so I don't see any reason why we can't get that serum. Oh crap, what would be the code? What's in our notes? Manual clues... Okay, where did I miss a code? Wait, 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 what's up with all this? Oh, oh, it opens up different various parts of the cell blocks so that I can get that freaking item. That's awesome. Uh, which did that open? It... It must be in here, right? Wait, which one did that open? I want it to open that one right there. 
This isn't funny. Show, show me which one again. Oh, it's not going to. Alright, fine. We'll just pull this. Where is that? <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, I don't have spatial memory sometimes. Especially out of on- oh, oh, here. Here's one. If anyone find- ah! Here it is. If anyone finds this note, I can help you access the gateway to your freedom. But to escape your fate, you must first visit solitary confinement. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, upstairs, upstairs. Was this one still locked? Broken. Alright. It's upstairs. We could jump across now, right? Right? Over there? <coughs> I'm going. Yeah, but then we search all- Ah! Uh, what? It's still not open? I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, I'm not gonna try to beat it to death. Uh, 11... Okay. 110391. 110391. Okay. Maybe there's like a switch in here? Alright, Wheeler. I made it in. I'm gonna look around. Solitary confinement? Oh! <gasps> It's my freaking mom! What? Is she dead? Oh, she's alive. But for how freaking long, I don't know. Mom. Jesus, what did they do? Get her down. Alex. Oh no, this isn't good. Mom, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna get you down. What? No, I'm not convinced that we can't get her down. They're gonna make me choose? Dude, I'm not- I'm not doing- I'm, I- I haven't been convinced yet that there is no other way to get her down. Of course I don't want my mom to suffer. I wouldn't want anyone to suffer. If there was like a way to get- look, look at this. What's this made out of? Look, there's a wood beam right there. We can- <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't- <sighs> I'm not doing it. But I don't want someone to suffer either. Can we not get her down? No. I'm not doing it. Unless I have to. I can't. Yeah, no, no, don't do it. I'm don't. Sorry, Mom. Don't. Wait! No, I chose wrong. I wasn't expecting something like that to happen. Oh my god, I'm a 
terrible sun. Okay, if 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 it had said we have to make I, this thing is about to go off. She's trapped. Something anything like that. I would have I would have chosen differently, but it seems like maybe someone was going to come in, bust open the door, help us out. There was like maybe a button or something. Dude, whoever set this up is going to die. I'm coming for him, man. I'm coming for him. Coming for you. And we get to save. Oh my god, dude. This has been crazy. Alright. Feeling like a proper horrible sun. That's how I'm feeling. If I had a thought that it was gonna go down like that and, and this was the choice before, then yes. I would have absolutely done that. You know, put her out of her misery. Wouldn't want someone to freaking suffer. And of course, I don't want the trauma of killing my own parent on my head either, but... What in the world is this? Boss fight time? Dude, we missed out on that serum in there. I'm... I'm mad. I've missed too many things in this playthrough, I feel like. Is this lever? It's a flesh lever. What in the world? What man loves more than life, fears more than death or mortal strife? What poor men have the rich acquire, and all contented men desire? What misers spend and the wastrels save and each man carries to his grave. That's a cool poem. The man who devised it does not want it. The man who thought it does not use it. The man who used it does not realize it. Hmm. So we all want something we don't have or can't have. We have it and we don't use it. It's all about wants and desires. I stand beside the holy men. The monarchs fear my wrath. None may move the way I can, ever the crooked path. Hmm. This sounds like this person who wrote it, or this thing or deity or whatever it is that wrote this. If they're saying that monarchs fear them, then, then it means that any man, power or not, fears them. Like, it's almost like God, but it says, ever the crooked path. So maybe it's the opposite of that. We... Let me investigate this. Oh, interesting. We've got different sigils representing different... I guess... Representations of life? This is like a pawn piece. This looks like a bishop. That looks like a horse, so maybe it's like a symbol of power, but so is a crown, a symbol of power. And then this, this, um, castle piece. It almost looks like a chest piece, sort of. Hmm, does this have to do with the poems? Oh, there's more. Oh. There's all these death... Uh, this looks like a, a prison, a cell, coffin, a dagger, maybe that could represent murder, poison or death maybe, this like a marked death, I'm not sure what kind of symbol that is, I've never seen something like that. Love, doesn't that represent luck? Or is that like a symbol in astrology, I'm not sure. A money sign. The reason I, I think that might correlate to the puzzle is because it's like each one has a side, right? So like this side. What man loves more than life? When I heard that, and it says fears more than death and mortal strife, it made me think money, but then it said poor men have the rich acquire. So what poor men have the rich acquire and all contented men desire. So maybe a soul or something like that, like soul, like happiness. 
what misers spend and the wastrels wastrel I'm not sure how to say that save and each man carries to his grave it must be money I don't know I'm just guessing oh, oh it could be time love time It's either money or time, but you don't really take time to your grave, that doesn't make sense. Not that you take money to your grave either, but you know, what you left behind. The man who devised it does not want it. The man who bought it does not use it. The man who used it does not realize it. Hmm. This one's gonna be tough. Hmm. Person who bought it doesn't use it. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it at that. Just just as I guess. I don't know. I don't really know if that dagger represents murder or not. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I stand beside the holy man. The monarchs fear my wrath. None may move the way I can, ever the crooked path. Okay. This is the one I feel like I have figured out the most. But all of these represent some form some form of power, right? This one. Alright, what happens when I get damage if I get this wrong? And how will I know what's wrong? That's wrong. That's a QT event. Thank god that I didn't get stuck in that. Okay, so that's- oh, 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 I get punished! Great. I'm gonna dance around this thing. Come on, I was trying to get behind it. Oh god, now it's gonna be impossible. Oh, there we go, there we go. Big hit was incoming. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I hate these so much, the needlers. You guys are the worst. Jesus, just die already. Oh my god. Whoa! Weird glitchy finishing move, but that's okay. Oof. Okay. I definitely don't think I have this puzzle at all correct. <sighs> if I knew what the items represented in the images, I think it would help. Okay, I think this one, if anything, I got this one right. But right here, this confuses me. What poor men have... What they already have, the rich acquires. So that doesn't seem to me like money. But all contented men desire... If a man... Uh, okay, let me, let me try, let me... God, this could be anything, man. This could be... Love? I don't know, people don't fear love, do they? <laughs> And what does this represent? Luck? Fate? I don't know, man. Th this one... I just really feel like it's money. I I'm gonna stick with my money theory. I I'm gonna stick to my guns on that one. I stand beside the holy man. The monarchs of my wrath. Nah, 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 nah. Alright, this one I might not have correct. I think either pawn or like the crown. So we'll try. The man who devised it does not want it, the man who bought it does not use it. Hmm. Okay, then it can't be what I think is death or murder. I th was thinking murder. Because if someone's gonna buy like someone to, I don't know, assassinate someone they would use it so so I don't know what's this god I'm gonna get there are so many combinations of this that it could be like seriously of course I got it wrong and now we gotta fight don't we 
This is the worst. I swear, it's already punishment enough that you got the puzzle wrong, you know? So it's like, come on, don't do this to us. <sighs> Money? Alright, this one can't be right. I'm not sure what the heck all this means. Death? Oh my god, it could be anything. Oh my god, we're gonna be here for a freaking while. I already feel it. Come on out. God. Oh, great. Is there two of them here? Oh, I love this. It's like Christmas came early. Jesus Christ. This is... This is so punishing, it's just not even fair. Come on. Come on. Get to the side, Alex. Go to the side. There we go. Okay. Goodness gracious. Let's try to figure out what these symbols mean. For the love of God, let me look at this. Let me give, give me a second and let me try to figure this out. What else would this be other than murder? Not that one. What else would this be other than death? But what the heck are these? I mean, usually a skull and crossbones is used like that for like poison, you know? And then this, I don't know what that means. Hmm, alright, I looked at the pieces. I don't know. That looks like a that looks like a prison cell to me. I stand beside the holy man the monarch. Okay. This one has got to be the easiest one to comprehend, but I don't know which one to use. Obviously, it's like a power a sen there's a sense of power in the person that it serves that this th whomever's writing this. It says monarchs fear me. So to me, it feels like it's like a secondary force. I stand, okay, I stand beside the holy man, so, so it's like, it's like a, a position of power acting upon the highest ranking position of power, and the only thing I can think of is like either a bishop, like the holy man, God himself, and a bishop is like a conduit to, to that power. This is a pawn piece, right? And I guess the horse would be a knight, like Chiss, and the crown, which looks arguably like, like a holy crown. But I think we tried this already. Um, let's try the crown. I don't know. Did I try that? I don't know. The prison here. And then I noticed that this is missing one. There's love. There's time. I don't think it's love or time. Because people like love. It's not like people fear love. I'm not sure what the heck this means. I thought luck. And it's not mo- I guess it's not money. We could try the new combination. What reward are we? Oh, lovely. Are there gonna be three of them now? Let me guess. Three. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. I can just- I can just be wrong in peace. <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay, the man advised it does not want it. The man who bought it does not use it. That one is confusing to me. What do you buy that you just don't use unless it's something you just... It's superfluous to you, like you're spending unwisely because you just don't need something that you bought. That's the only thing I can think of. The man who used it... And what do you use that you don't realize that you use? It's not prison. You know why you're there, right? I don't know what these death markers mean, and we tried the murder. I guess a freaking. <sighs> I 
if this doesn't represent death, then it represents a physical item. So then that would be a dagger, and then I guess a skull, and a cell, and, and maybe it's not all that symbolic, it's a coffin. If I look at it through that lens, devised it, like, built it, created it, does not want it. Man who bought it does not use it. The man who used it does not realize it. So if they're dead and they're in the coffin, they don't realize they're using it. That would make sense. I stand beside the holy man. Okay, okay. This one we decided we, we tried the crown. It was wrong. I really think it's this bishop now, but I think I tried that already. I can't honestly remember now. This one is the knight. It has to be a chess piece. These are both chess pieces. Actually, there's three chess pieces, right? Wouldn't this be the queen? Let's try the queen, I guess. Unless it's a pawn. And this was money. We already... Yeah. I don't think it's time. I don't think it's uh, love. I don't think it's money. I don't know what the heck this is, but I'm going to try it. Please no fights. Please no fights if we're wrong. Okay. We're wrong. Again. Oh yeah, yeah. Hardest puzzle ever. So would this mean nothing? I, I think this coffin one, I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna stick with it. Let's try the pawn. Pawn makes sense. I guess if that's what it is. Dang, we're gonna be here all night, baby. All night. Alright, let's just try that, see if it changes anything. We did it! Holy crap. Hardest freaking puzzle ever. I I guess it's more like a riddle. Riddles are hard for me. I never know how to look at riddles. Symbolically, figuratively, literally. It's like you can look at it freaking 10,000 different ways and I'm not good at that. Oh, we dropped down. Oh, I thought he was going to jump in it James style. That would have been cool. But this makes sense too. We're not figuratively going anywhere, you know, we're just dropping down. <gasps> Thank God you're alive. I was about to go to Looney Tunes in this Bush Motel. What is it? I found my mother. Oh. Sorry, Alex. I'm afraid I got more bad news. I found this on one of those order soldiers I roughed up. Uh-oh. L's name's on it. Then we gotta get out of here. Let's go, Parker. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This looks crazy cool in here. Look at the lighting. The lighting is done so well. I know I've said that like a thousand times. Okay, what can we save over here? Hmm. I guess I'll save here. Alright. How are y'all doing? This one's been a doozy of an episode, I feel like. We've 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 come so far. But I feel like... I don't know. Oh, one budge. Oh! Hello! Will Deputy Wheeler follow us here? One budge. I guess we just go through here. Hello? Oh, there he is! 
sweet. God, where the hell are we? I don't know, Wheeler, but we have to keep moving. We are literally nowhere. Old barge. Sounds like we're really high up. You can hear all the wind. Oh my gosh. Y'all hear all that? Great. Come here, you. They deflect bullets, Wheeler. <laughs> but I'll take your your bullets anyway. That's oh, so nice having help. Thanks, bud. You're the best. Sounds. Hey, it's another one of these doors. That's only bad news behind this thing. Only bad news. Alex. Oh, Wait. Elle's mom. You get her loose before they start pumping the gas. I'll shut off the valves. Oh my God, gas! Oh God. How did you find me? We don't have time to talk. I've got to get you out of here. What is that? Where did you get that? It's Els. Elle? Where is she? Is she okay? I don't know. I'll find her though, I promise. She said she took this from you. So I, I guess you should have it back. This isn't mine. It belonged to Nora. Nora? They turn on the gas! No, dude, are you kidding? No. Get out of here. I'll save Wheeler. Oh, what was that? What was that? Well, you better believe we're saving our boy. Ew, that looks gross. Oh my god. What is this thing? That is a creepy cool design. Whoa. Watch out for the cheeks. Oh my god, it's freaking scary as heck. Look at this thing. Oh my god, it's so creepy. Holy crap. Ouch. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, get out of that, get out of that. I'm so unlocked. Holy god, it's so creepy. I'm quite literally stunlocked. I can't even leave the situation. Alright. It's time to start blasting. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Get me out of this. Oh, oh great, oh great. I'm... Oh god. Dude, it's so creepy. Where's its weak spot? Probably its butt. Come on, stop grabbing me, you sick pervert. Put me down. <sighs> Dude, I'm just blasting this thing. I don't know where from or what's the best place, but... 
I don't even care. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Dude, come on. You kidding? Shh. Uh, hello, menu. Oh my god, you can't open your menu in combat stance. It's so annoying. Oh, the clunkiness is gonna get me killed. Uh. I guess we'll keep going with the axe. Dang it. I thought I was getting to his butt. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get in there. Get in there, Alex. Go, 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 go. Okay. We can do this. All melee, apparently. Get in there. Get in there. Get it. Get it. There you go. There we go. Oh, 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 what? Did we do it? I think we did it. Oh my god, did you see the way Alex wrangled that thing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Play some cowboy theme music behind that scene. That was crazy. Alright, now what about Wheeler? Oh man, that was insane. That was a cool monster though. Really freaking creepy. And did you see the way that Judge Holloway like snickered or smiled at the end? And when she got that locket, it's like she, she made something happen. Like... It's like all the stuff is connected. The bosses are connected to the parents. Something they feel is creating this, I think, the monsters. And it has to do with their missing or hurt children. Oh no, my game's going to crash. I can tell. Oh, okay, good. It's just loading. Whew. Anyway, something is going on with the parents. I think they're all hiding something. And perhaps Shepherd's Glen is due to... Oh my god, this looks so close to the movie. I, like, the chapel? What? Like, from the outside. Oh, I wish they would have showed us more of that. Oh, wait, wait. It is. It's right here in front of me. Okay, great. Whoa. Okay, here's what I think. Here's what I think. This looks incredible, by the way. I think the founders of Shepherd's Glen went away from Silent Hill. And maybe due to... It's Shepherd's, it's called Shepherd's Glen, I think, because Shepherd family founded it and created it. Like, his dad helped create it. And, you know, found, follow, or found people to help do it. Now, there's something weird with the symbolism. Like, it's definitely seeming like there's some weird cult-like things happening in Shepherd's Glen as well. But I think what it, for whatever reason he disagreed with Silent Hill's way of doing things and decided to start his own place anew. So then we've got Shepherd's Glen, a new town, so to speak. So because of that separation, I think it caused some strife. And um, especially in, in Alex's parents, because it said that they had to, she said she had to choose Josh or, or something like that. We could only choose one. Maybe it's some sort of like, you can do this if you want, but you have to give us your son. I, I don't know for sure if it's like a deal or not. I don't know. But he seemed to disdain Silent Hill, Alex's dad, for whatever reason. Philosophical differences, cult differences, worship differences. I don't know, but something's happening, I think, where there's a deal being made and just Alex is just seeing all this happen. He's our conduit to the story, I suppose. We're in the mystery as much as he is. I don't think he's an unreliable narrator is what I'm basically trying to say. But there's something going on with the kids and these parents from Shepherd's Glen. Like maybe it's part of the deal. I don't know, man. I'm just really, I'm really reaching. It could sound funny if I'm, like, completely wrong, <laughs> which I very well could be. 
I'm just guessing. I still don't know Josh, how wait. this is unfolding yet. All this has been is like been a goose hunt for Josh. And we're just surviving as we go through it. With with not a whole lot of clues. We've had some cryptic puzzles and riddles. Mm, and that's about it. And and the symbolism. There's like a, a new symbol. Alright, I have a feeling we're going up to like the end or something. Hopefully there's a save point though, because I do want to save the end for the for the last, you know, for the next episode if, if that's indeed where we're headed. See? Rifle and I knew it, man. I I miss I've missed it somewhere. And maybe I'll go back. I'll probably will possibly need it. And also, this is so reminiscent of the movie. Like, these steps and the front. I mean, the whole town is, obviously. I know that. From, like, the burning, you know, like, this idea or this, this concept that hell is below. Which, to me, it's, like, not, um, canon to Silent Hill 1 through 4. To me... It's like a anthology. It's a it's a weird anthology, which the same story or not same story. Sorry, same setting, but different characters and different stories. So that's what Silent Hill feels like to me. Past number four. Well, past number one, they're all kind of two completely deviated from from this whole cult like thing. So to me, it's like anthology in a way where different characters, different story, all kind of stemming from the same root. But these like origins try to kind of tie together. Okay, I'm going way off because I've had my coffee, so I'm, I'm diving. I'm going too far. But I feel like origins really tried to stay truest, tried to stay truest to the original narrative, the original story. But they sort of missed some key things to the story, which felt, um, inconsistent. For instance, Dahlia had said in Origins that she burned, they burned Alessa on purpose. We know that it was an accident in the canon story of one, I believe. Okay, and then what I wanted to say is so far with Homecoming, so this is like my fifth game, sixth game, because I played one through four, I played Origins and now this one. So as far as my thoughts so far, I feel like this is heavily drawn from the movie, which takes on a different approach to the town, I suppose, which, as I said, not, not canon, but it's, it's to me, it, it, we're supposed to look at it in a different light, but using the same elements and atmosphere, and I'm, I always find it fun to do that, and I don't really have a necessary problem with that at all except when some elements of the story don't make sense. Like, I don't know why there's a boogeyman who looks like Pyramid Head. That clo that blows my mind a little bit. And the nurses are used as like, as just sheer fan service. And not that I hate that, it's just an observation. That's all. Anyway, I'm loving all this. I think this is all fun to me. I love every bit of it non-canon or canon, whatever, whichever side, I'm still loving being in the elements, being in this theme, and I find it very fun, and I think there's just so much praise I can give to each section or each title of a Silent Hill game. There's things that they do very well, and things that deviates from what we are to know is canon, the first uh, game. Whoa, this is really cool. Wow. I feel like we're really gonna get a lot here. Oh, this is so neat. I love how grand this is. But there is definitely some weird... These gates are locked, but I don't see any means of opening them. Perhaps they are controlled from somewhere else in the church. Someone said that these are like evangelical Christians or, or like depictions of that. It's a statue holding something. I can't make out the expression on its face. The object is blocking my view. 
It looks as though something is missing from the plate. Hmm. Something's it's holding something. We, we probably need that. And we need to put something in this goblet to make it fall, possibly. It's a painting, but I can't make out the image. Dang it! Come on, make out the images! I think that would really help give us some more context into what's going on. Which, by the way, this game hasn't really given much towards what's going on, other than the kids are getting freaking hunted down and punished or sacrificed or something. Oh god, I hear a monster. Hello? Anyway, I'm still loving all of this though. It's all just different storytelling of different stories connected to similar elements. Look at this. Speaking of similar elements, this is the full, the full halo of the sun. Not like what we've been seeing scribbled on the walls as our save point, but this is like the full version. Ooh, thank you. I'm gonna save that for sure. And look at this, this is incredible. What a beautiful design. I wonder what it sounded like when it was playing. Probably freaking sick. Wait, there's something here. This looks like another... Oh! Ceremonial dagger. Ooh. Oh, we know where that is. Ooh, bloody footprints. Oh, that's just creepy. Look, even this- look! Like, the way this opens, it's just like in the movie. Oh, Jesus! I'm glad I was looking up. You scared me. Oh, come on. I didn't come in here to get hit. Come on. There you go, there you go. Get in there. Oh god. Whew. God, the monsters are so beefy. Alright, there were some stairs here. Or, where did I see stairs? I thought I saw stairs. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Let's check these pews. Let's see anything. Okay, we know where the gate is, so let's head there now. There we are. Examine. It looks like a baptismal font. There's something floating inside. It said I can't quite... Oh, hey, it's me. <gasps> Creepy. Joshua taking a picture of, her, picture of himself in our bathroom. Yeah, we need that part. I knew it, man. We can't be left alone. Anyone else? Just making sure. Chalice plate. Okay. Oh, there's one on me. Freaking sneaky. Alright, let's go upstairs. This is a really cool chapel, though. I love the design of this. Ooh, perfect save point. Oh, I'm sorry to end it in such a weird spot, but I have to. Oh, I just have to go somewhere soon, or else I'd probably make this a gigantic video because it's fun. But I do have to go somewhere, so I'm so sorry that I have to end it right in the middle of getting to, I guess, the depth of the story here and how they're taking the story in this game. Anyway, 
This has been so much fun. I can't wait to pick it back up. It feels like we're rounding the end. So whatever happens in the next episode, I'm just going to like finish it out if we are indeed getting towards the end. So it might be a big episode. But anyway, point is, we're going to finish this soon, it feels like. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your patience as I got this episode out. And I will catch you all on the next one. Ciao.